Welcome back to Rare Oakley's. One of my all-time favorite color combos was the gunmetal with ice. I believe that was only offered in two separate models. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments below if I am wrong. But today we are going to be unofficially unboxing a pair of brand new 20s in the very rare and very exclusive colorway of gunmetal and ice. Before we get to that, make sure, as always, you guys subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Hit that like button, give us a thumbs up, and of course, do not forget to hit that bell icon. That bell icon is for you guys, so you never miss a future episode of Rare Oakley's. And look, definitely check out our other videos. Guys, I went through our videos recently, kind of checking out the more popular videos, the most viewed, and it was shocking to see that there were so many really awesome videos. For example, the Athlete Exclusive Pro M Frame in Chrome, which most people don't even know exists, even collectors, that video has very few views compared to some of these other more common pairs that are out there. So definitely check out our other videos because it's obvious that a lot of viewers are missing a lot of great content. And also make sure you check this out. This is my book. It is fun. It is inspirational. It's a power packed book with all kinds of information on how to save money and get free stuff. And yes, it's totally legit. And even if you're not a big reader, you will still love the book because it is just a fun and entertaining read. I was laughing my head off writing this and even revising it because yes, I did all the editing, but the links are gonna be below in the description. You guys will love it. When you have a chance to check it out, definitely check it out. So the 20s were some of my favorites. We got them right here to my right in the box, brand new. They've never been worn. They've been taken out, of course. So this, this is an unofficial unboxing, but let's take a quick look at the box. Most of you, Old school collectors are gonna be familiar with this. The black box from the early 2000s, my favorite era by far. The 20 logo here. You got the Oakley icon or the ellipse here. And notice too, I think I've, not I've mentioned this in some of the other videos, how the picture of the Oakleys, in this case the 20s, how it spills over the side, right? So you can see the temple with the icon here and the first part of the ear stem. On the back, Let's see if we can get that in focus. We've got the patent numbers, et cetera, right? And on the end, this is really important for collectors. Now the box, it's not 100% perfect. It's got a you know a couple little wrinkles here, little dings, nothing too major. Yeah, a little bit of a ding here in the end, but mostly intact. But the box here does have the correct label, which for collectors is a really big deal. And you can see there, 20 gunmetal with ice lens, it's got the skew here on the bottom. Very, very rare, very difficult to find. Fortunately, we were able to get these brand new and we've had them for a number of years. Again, only been on display, never been worn. I don't know that these will ever be worn, at least not, if, not when they're in my possession. These are absolute classics. And by the way, Chris in Chicago, you guys may have heard of him a lot or in some of our past videos, really awesome guy. Chris, if you're watching this, this episode is dedicated to you. Really cool guy. Because Chris really likes the gunmetal and ice 20s. And I don't know if he under, ended up getting them in his collection or not. But let's unbox these here. So, again, yeah, we got a little bit of, a da little bit of damage here to the, uh, to the end of the box, unfortunately. But I'm going to take this out first because, ironically enough... This particular pair didn't have the warranty registration in... For, well, actually, this is... I guess it does have the warranty registration card. It's different, though. I don't know if this was the correct warranty registration card for this box or not, but you got the thumbprint icon here. And look at the footwear on here. The crank, the smoke, and the anti-sole mid. Man, brings back a lot of really cool memories, and I wish I would have picked up some cranks back in the day. Fortunately, we do have the anti-sole, and we're probably going to go over that in a future episode. Again, hit that bell icon. That's for you guys. What's on the back here? Uh, yep. You got the bobby, the overdrive low, and the teeth, the original teeth, which I believe they brought back as well. So pretty cool. Bring back some really cool memories. I'm going to just set that back in the box. And here is what we all came to see. What do we got on the tag here? Plutonite lens should only be cleaned with the provided sunglass bag. Oakley, if you guys noticed, they switched up the verbiage on the tags here on the microfiber bags over the years. They switched it up ever so slightly. You got the genuine Oakley software tag with the 
kind of lines here. And let's take these out of here. Let's let's get in close enough so we can see these because these are these are really really classic here. Let's check these out. Check these out. All right. And of course, gunmetal. For those of you not familiar with the gunmetal, when it comes to gunmetal finish for the frames, that was actually a full metal jacket finish, as it indicated on the tag, on the end of box there. And look at this. This is beautiful. Gunmetal being that dark gray full metal jacket finish. That is awesome. And paired with those beautiful ice lenses. Again, this is one of my all-time favorite color combos. Also notice in the center here on the nose bridge, the Oakley stretch logo is printed in blue to match the ice lenses. You've got anodized blue icons, metallic blue icons, which are beautiful. You've got blue ear socks. And yeah, we've got blue nose bombs as well right here. Again, never been worn. I think, I'm just checking here. Ah, yeah, center in the nose bridge too. Notice, see if we can zoom in on this. Zoom in on it so we can see that. Zoom in a little bit more. Let's zoom in so we can see the center here. I wanna see, they're all marked with 20. And I believe, <clears throat> I believe that is or was an anti-counterfeiting measure that Oakley initiated because again, Oakley, as far as I know, at least at one time, was the most counterfeited brand in the world. So Oakley had to try to take some steps to try to prevent that or try to hinder that. But let us know what you guys think of these in the comments below. Again, one of my all-time favorite color combos. Really hard to find. I believe these were produced in very limited quantities. Even back in the day in the early 2000s, it was tough to find these, and it was even harder to find later on. As time goes on, of course, the supply dries up. You're only going to get these in the hands of collectors, or they've been very well worn, if you can even find them. I haven't seen a pair of these in I don't even know how many years. In fact, I've probably only seen maybe two or three pairs of these ever. Anyway, let us know what you guys think. As always, thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. Do not forget to hit that bell icon, and we will see you next time on Rare Oakley's.